Hello. Hi. Welcome or welcome back. It's me and Frank, and we're back from our latest travel. So I'm going to film a get ready with me because I'm about to film another more exciting video in my mind, but I figured I'd take this time to catch up with everyone and say hello. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I don't have a strong plan. I just wanted to kind of catch up and I'm glad I waited until today because it's been crazy. I've been back for three days and I am not caught up on life. I'm like a quarter unpacked. Some of my makeup is still packed. I was going to show you the face of makeup that I did in the car <laughs> during our bourbon tour experience. But the merit stick, which was the main part of that, is still packed somewhere. So I'm going to use the other quick foundation that I packed, but I ended up not really using, I think maybe one day. And that is the Rare Beauty. So I'm just gonna, this is always a dangerous game, right? Like I don't wanna get it on my sweatshirt. But I love this sweatshirt from our trip in Yellowstone. Oh. But how has everyone been? I know it doesn't feel like it's been that long since I have seen you, but it has been, gosh, when was the last time I filmed? Over a week, like a week and a half, and it feels like I haven't talked to you, even though we've been chatting in the comments. I know there's been kind of a lot of putting my face on, get readies with me. That is all about to change because we are done traveling, which I'm so fortunate that we got to travel and we really hadn't been anywhere since last October. So these two trips kind of just were really nice to get away, change your, what's the word? Kind of change up the environment that you're in, get to see some family that I really only get to see like maybe once a year if I'm lucky and obviously spend some time with the hubby in doing what we love to do so we got our hiking trip in i just don't think we kind of booked that last minute and it just happened to be in a really busy month and october is my favorite month i love the fall i i grew up in a state west virginia that is very very beautiful in the fall so i always i, I look forward to it so much and it's my favorite month and I think that's why it gets busy because I like to hit up all the fall festivals that I can and I had to miss a few this year with friends that bummed me out a little bit but we did get to go to quite a few really fun ones that I spoke about but I am ready to kind of settle in at home get things kind of back in order and really settle into the cozy vibes today is an absolutely beautiful fall day it is nice and crisp outside but not too cold and the sun is out. It was a little overcasty, but the sun is out. And I think we're going to go on a date tonight after I am done filming. And we're going to get a Goblerito, which if you are from around the Pittsburgh area or you have visited Pittsburgh enough, there is a restaurant here, Mad Mex, that is absolutely delicious. I feel like it might get a bad rep because it's like grown over the years and franchised out, but it is so delicious. There's one in Columbus. I don't know if they're everywhere, but they do this thing only in the fall and it is basically a turkey dinner wrapped in a burrito. It's like mashed potatoes, corn stuffing, turkey. Then it has gravy over top of it and a side of cranberry sauce. And no, that is not healthy at all. But one of my favorite dinners of all time is like that classic turkey dinner so I always get very excited we'll be in a food coma they also have apple cider margaritas you know that's I'm very excited it's just going to be a great experience on such a great fall day I'm probably going to go in this cozy sweatshirt and change into some jeans but nothing fancy so I'm not going to go too overboard but I did get a colitis order in the mail before I left for Yellowstone. And this isn't even all of it. I Their new collection ugh, really got me. And then I really wanted to pick up Cold Brew, the quad. So that's what we're gonna use today. I think, oh, so pretty. 
but I have a very specific look that I will be using those purple quads from their latest release and then this beautiful palette. This is the Astro Pink. I mean, these two center shades, even this one, or no, this one, but these two center shades, that's what's going to really help me build that look that I have planned. So stay tuned for that. And also, I'm like getting way ahead of myself here, but I'm going to go into Westman Atelier Biscuit, which I did use quite a bit on the trip, even mixed with the Merit Bronzer. It just kind of adds a little bit deeper of a base, but I think I am going to go deeper with that cold brew palette today. But anyway, my Credo order from the friends and family sale while we were out of town just arrived today, and I'm very excited about that. I picked up quite a few fun things. I think we'll actually be able to do a full face. I picked up a couple, I think three maybe more things from the Jillian Dempsey line because I've been wanting to try that forever. I'm also a Grey's Anatomy fan and I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Patrick Dempsey, but I just love Grey's. So I thought, why not? Let's try it out, especially with a discount. And then I picked up a couple other things. The only thing I wasn't able to get my hands on because I waited too long because I... I didn't want it to arrive while we were out of town, is the new Aether palette, which is stunning. I'll pop a picture up. I just don't know if it's for me because I think that it would lean just very pink and I much prefer purples and I'm so glad that purples are kind of having their moment this fall. Things go in and out of trend all the time and I was having a conversation with one of my friends <laughs> and I told them that my philosophy really is when you hit that sweet spot of something that you love, whether it's in makeup with a color or in fashion with a style where it is trendy, but you, you love it not because it's trendy, you just love that type of whatever it is to kind of go all out because everything is cyclical and it will come back again. But you never know how long it takes. So when I see colors in fashion or makeup that I love that I know are not kind of staple colors for people like purple, I'm going to grab up the purple now and keep it in my collection for as long as it will last. Keep in mind kind of expiration and all that, but you feel me. So let's get in to this eye look or should I do my eyebrows? We're going to jump into eyes because I don't think... I have unpacked my eyebrows. I have done my best. Like I did, this room needs picked up more, but I did try to like at least start that process today. I'm going to go in with a refer 16. I'm <laughs> still a little bit of a, a basket case. So I'm going to go in with this base color, which is the lightest of the mattes from the cold brew palette. I don't know how I feel about the lace. It feels hefty and nice, and this is like a very thick plastic that kind of comes across as metal but I've never tried these eyeshadows so we're going on this journey together today and I totally forgot I picked up their eye base we'll do a whole colitis video this is just playing around you know first dips if you will but that is a lovely crease shade for me But yeah, I'm going to try my hardest not to zone out and do makeup, but I feel like on our trip, I did nothing but kind of rush through makeup. So I, I'm i kind of craving a moment to like really zone out and play, which I think I'll probably do tomorrow while I'm not filming just to get a practice run in on two different eye looks that I really want to do. I just haven't done anything like them before, so I need a practice run, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. But the video I'm filming after this is going to be a lot of fun. I might even bring a cocktail to the party. But yeah, our trip was incredible. The wedding was beautiful. If you guys want to see another video like I did for that first wedding where we walked through all the makeup that I did, I did end up doing my makeup a tiny bit of my sister. She did most of it. I did... The, br the bride, excuse me, my two very young nieces who are much younger than the nieces that I did earlier this year. And I need something brightening. 
I just found everything that I needed to, but I have to share something with you. Oh, I had two of these wet and wild brulee eyeshadows. I'm like afraid to tilt it. Not travel friendly at all. And I don't know that I remember that from wearing these in college, but ooh, she not travel friendly. So I'm gonna have to try to track down another, which at least it's only 99 cents, but now I know. Do not travel. Very disappointing. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm trying to think if I did anyone else's. Oh, my aunt's makeup, which was so much fun. She was like, would you mind? I'm like, I would love to. That's so exciting. Shout out Aunt Nikki. Nicolin. I love her name so much. Anyway, let me know if you guys would like to see another one of those videos. I wouldn't say that there was like too much of a difference. I mean, I, I feel like I could take more liberties going a little bit deeper and smokier because it was a fall wedding and I cannot get over the flower, the floral arrangements. They were absolutely stunning. And I wish I knew how to dry flowers well because I would have loved to have kept that. Just so pretty. Ooh, is that coming across? It's very pretty. Oh, like a beautiful, shimmery, cool taupe. Ooh, I like that. But yeah, let me know about that. And then the bourbon trip, I really want to talk about because I had mentioned that we had to switch things around because apparently things book out now. Uh, me and my husband were absolutely gobsmacked going on these tours because you have to remember, we've been going on these tours since 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. The amount that these places have grown, whether they were just starting when we first started going or they have been around like even, it was crazy to see the changes in Maker's Mark because he used to be able to go to the gift shop and we knew this had changed, but it has changed even more. He used to be able to go to the gift shop and you could dip into the red wax that's on the top of the bottle, which I love. I have always closed my personal note cards with wax seals. I just love it. And you used to be able to dip whatever you bought in the gift shop, like hats, coasters, cups, whatever bottles that you purchased there. And I think they said it's because there was a rowdy bachelor party. I don't know. But also I'm sure because they're so busy that you can't anymore unless you purchase just a bottle that's undipped in the gift shop. They'll let you dip bottles. But what was cool about this time is we got to pick up our personal barrel bottles. And I didn't know this, but it has our name on the label and it's so cool. But I, my husband and I just could not get over how busy and just what an industry has been built in all of these places. Like the one distillery will it was just being built when we went there all they had operating was the still that distilled the liquor and the guest shop and they were building kind of like an event space for bridal parties weddings all that kind of stuff and everything was done when we got there and they had a restaurant with like a five-star chef or something crazy and we were just like This is crazy. Like I knew that there had been a resurgence of interest in bourbon. And I do think some of that is because of Mad Men, which is so funny. And I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I liked bourbon first, but there's so many people there now that you can tell are there because it's like the it thing, the cool thing. And you can tell the people that are there who have a genuine interest and respect for the whole process and the history because as it kind of booms and new industry is built, I think a lot of people forget the history behind it, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it was still so much fun. And it's so crazy how just more connected my husband and I felt to each other because like I mentioned in the other video, it always takes us back to that first trip. And I mentioned that, you know, that's when I knew that he was my boo thing but it was also our first like out of town trip just the two of us together so 
it's just, it was such a lovely, lovely time. But I will say we ended up coming back a half day early because when we go on these Louisville trips, it's like no joke. And I say Louisville, but most of the distilleries are outside of the city in like Bardstown and Frankfurt and all of that. But it's so funny because <laughs> when we go on these trips, we're trying to learn and get to see as much as possible. And most of these distilleries are like 20, 30 minutes apart. And tours are like an a half an hour to an hour to two hours long. And you're on like a very rigid schedule to get to and from everywhere and get to see everything that you want to see. And by the end of that, so we had done two full days of touring like that, went to the wedding rehearsal, had the wedding the next day, got up and drove back to the Louisville area, woke up Monday and did it all again. And Monday night came and we were like, let's do what we got to do Tuesday morning and then book, book it out of here because we're both exhausted. We were just ready to come home and take a break, even though it was exactly what we needed. It just got to a point where like we had been in three hotels by that point and we were looking at doing a fourth and we were like, let's just go home. <laughs> That's when you know you're really in love when you look at each other and you're like, I want my bed back. But so much fun. And we're so fortunate that we were able to do that. We got to experience a lot of things together and those memories will last forever. And we do take, I like saved up back in 2017 before our honeymoon when I really didn't have the money, I, I saved up and saved gift cards from our registry and stuff for a nice camera. And I'm so thankful that I did that because we were able to capture such beautiful pictures on all of these trips we've taken together and the hiking trips, especially. And I'm hoping, especially now that we're kind of getting through the unpacking and furniture buying part of owning our house, that we can get some of those printed on canvas, which I think is just going to be such a lovely touch in, you know, in place of art. I, we do have art and I do want to continue purchasing art to hang on the walls, but it's just exciting to get to the point where you're ready to decorate walls because we need so much furniture and we ordered a bed and we ordered it, I think in June and it was supposed to be here last month. Then it was supposed to be here in October and now I don't see it coming until like middle of November because only like one of four parts has even shipped to the delivery center. So we're still trying to get through all of that. It's another reason why I think we're both ready to be home because I think we're ready to start truly nesting. We got through a lot of projects last year and this year is all about unpacking and decorating and nesting and making the house what we would like. My office is probably the most finished room in our house right now. And even that is doesn't have art on the wall yet. So I just rambled quite a bit. But I, I like this eye look. I did my kind of classic smoky eye using all of these. So I did the crease and the outer third with this shade. Then I built up the outer view with this shade. This is all over the lid. And then this to deepen up the lash line. I really like that. And I feel quite pretty. But I need to prep my lips, which I picked this up. I ordered an auto order and I thought I chose pickup and I chose delivery because I needed sponges to apply makeup. But I threw this in my order because I've been wanting to try it. It's the Ulta Beauty Tinted Jelly Balm. Ugh, I got it in grape. I'm kind of obsessed with this. Been using it the past couple of days. Also, Frank. Frankie. Oh, look at that face. He's very obsessed with it. I wore it to bed last night for the first time and like he would not stop trying to get at the lip chap on my lips. So I sorry, bud. You go back to nap. I love when he wakes up. You can't really see it, but his beard <laughs> is just crazy. But anyway, let's get into cheeks, lashes, lips. That feels so good. I, I'm definitely, I mentioned doing those speed reviews absolutely happening because there's a lot of products that I want to talk to you about, good and bad, but not, I don't want to do another fails, that last fails. 
It's enough ranty. I'm going in with condensate. Yeah, from, I always get condensate and evaporate mixed up. Going in with condensate from Phytosurgeons. Pretty much wore either condensate or evaporate the entire trip. Minus one day I wore the mood shade from Merit. I just, they're my two favorite blush formulas right now. And it's so funny because I prefer powder everything else. Except stick products. I love stick products. Let me know your favorite stick product brands. Because I'm into it. I don't even know what we're talking about. I just wanted to sit down, catch up, do my makeup therapy, finish my very large refresher because the next video I had to do some prep for. I feel like I'm missing something or like this isn't blended. I'm gonna go in with powder bronzer on top of that. We want a moody look. And then go, I'm gonna go in with my Gucci. I just wish I could like, ugh. I wish I was someone who wanted to vlog. I have no interest. I have interest, but like, I just I don't think I wanna put that much on the internet because I would have loved to have vlogged that trip. It was, part of me would love to have vlogged it to have it kind of saved in video memory, but I don't think I would have been as present. But maybe throughout this portion, I'll pop up some pictures. It's just, I love everything about that trip, getting to see my family that I don't get to see normally, and then all of the bourbon. It's been a, since before the pandemic, since we've been there, so we've both really been wanting to do that trip. And I think I will, I, I feel like Khaki just posted this video, but I think I will do my travel makeup bag because I'm not kidding you, every day outside of the wedding, I did my makeup in the car as a passenger with the easiest products and I looked finished. More finished than some days that I sit down and do my makeup here and I wanna share that. So that's coming. I think that's what I was getting into earlier. We're back. This always happens when I do my mascara, <laughs> I think. But the video I'm about to film next is probably gonna go up before this just because it's the most important and this will be kind of a bonus video if you're interested. I know that there's probably a large portion of you that are not into the Get Ready With Me's, but it seems like a lot of you are, so I'm happy to do them. Um, and also I like catching up with you, you know? But after that, I think I'm finally gonna have time this weekend and maybe Monday evening to start filming some fashion video content. And I've got my full length mirror. I think that that's gonna come in handy. And we're just gonna play around and try to get the shot for those. And I am slightly nervous about that because I am kind of on a health journey. And let me know if anyone's interested because I, I don't know if it would be helpful and I'm not here to tell anyone how to fix any health issues, but Actually, I'm gonna go in with uh, Zhao, I think. Yeah, Zhao from Linda Hallberg on my waterline just to see what that looks like. It's a really pretty kind of taupey gold. But what I was saying is, I don't know if that's helpful, but I'm, I'm going through a phase right now where I need a hard reset, a very hard reset, because I was killing it on my health journey for a long time and you know, life happens. You don't always predict what's going to happen next. And life got in the way. I let my health fall off the priority list completely. And it wasn't until I had a recent conversation with a mentor at work, which I'm very fortunate to have access to her and her wisdom. I never thought of work-life balance as basic human needs like sleep water exercise taking care of yourself i always thought it was like a work balanced with social time and that's very true to who i am i tend to prioritize everything above myself because i i deeply care for people i want to help people i i'm a virgo i want to be of service <laughs> and 
I forget along the way that like, hey, getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night is necessary. Drinking water during the day is necessary. Eating, not even just eating healthy, like literally eating, I will end up skipping meals because I'm too busy, which like, that's nonsense. I am not. I am not too busy. And obviously anxiety plays a role in that. But if you guys would be interested in coming along that journey to try to like reset, rebalance, get back to where I was because I did lose 70 pounds and readjusted all of my blood work to a healthy point and I'm backsliding, right? So I have gained almost half of that back, which is very frustrating and upsetting, but that is life. And we're not beating ourselves up because if you are going through something similar, I hope that you understand that healing is not linear and life happens. And the best thing that you can do is get back up and take care of yourself again. And that is just what we're going to do. I'm going in with the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil in Sun Haze. I've been loving this again. So yeah, let me know if you guys want some deets on that. I know I have someone who requested like, what do I do on down days when I have a health flare up? Girl, she be flaring. So if you're interested in more content like that, like the chronic pain video, I'm happy to share if it helps, you know? That's all I want to do here on my channel. So this is the finished. Look, I added liner, like reverse liner, and I've never done that, and I'm kind of digging it a little bit. Let me know what you think. Reverse liner, is it, is it the T? I don't know. Maybe I should have fixed it a little bit. I should have done it before my mascara. Anyway, 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 I'm really happy with this. I am going to go film the next video that I hope you have already watched and enjoyed, and then I'm going to have dinner with my lovely husband. So, I hope you're having or had a great week, and I hope that you have a marvelous weekend leading up to Halloween, and I think I'm going to have a Halloween video coming, so I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.